There might be a possibility that future global conflicts including between India and China could be fought with Star Wars type weapons like lasers or blasters. As New Delhi looks to begin developments on directed energy weapons, Jews to stand an upper ground in future warfare. India's premier R&D agency, the Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO, announced earlier this month that it is planning a national program to develop Jews in the form of high-energy lasers and high-powered microwaves. The two types of Jews are anti-personnel, as they can cause excessive burning of an area in the body and cause blindness. They are also anti-material as they possess the ability to destroy missiles, ships, UAVs, and fry circuitry of equipment deployed on a battlefield. Considered as a key factor in future contactless warfare, the potential applications of the technology would be possessing weapons which could target enemy fighter jets, personnel, vehicles, missiles, and optical devices. DRDO chairman said Jews are extremely important today. The world is moving towards them. In the country too, we are doing a lot of experiments. We have been working in this area for the past three to four years to develop 10 kilowatt and 20 kilowatt weapons. Dot. According to news reports, the national program under DRDO will comprise short, medium and long-term goals aiming to develop different variants of DEW with up to 100 kilowatt power. However, the report stated that the development will see the organization collaborate with the nation's domestic private sector. One of the key reasons behind India's decision to channelize efforts towards the development of Jews is India's current standing as a seismic zone for potential conflicts, as it finds itself sandwiched between Iron Brothers China and Pakistan. However, according to news reports, India's efforts on the DEW program has only been a response to China's development of DEW technologies. Beijing's growing military power, including in space, cyber and electronic warfare domains, can inflict significant damage on its adversaries, including India. China is also developing DEW technologies. Indeed, India is probably developing its own Jews as a response. Several DEW projects have been underway by DRDO, which range from chemical oxygen iodine and high-power fiber lasers to a secretive Kali particle beam weapon for soft kills against incoming missiles and aircraft, however, none of them are close to being operational. But one promising sign has been DRDO's development of two anti-drone DEW systems, which have been successfully demonstrated to intelligence, defense and police officials. One of them is a trailer-mounted DEW, with a 10 kilowatt laser able to engage aerial targets at a 2 kilometer range, and the other is a compact tripod mounted one with a 2 kilowatt laser capable of engaging targets at a kilometer's range. According to officials, both of them are capable of bringing down micro drones by either jamming their command and control links or damaging their electronics through the laser based DEW. They are now being productionized in large numbers with the help of the industry. According to the technological roadmap of the nation's defence forces for the next decade, the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force IAF, need at least 20 tactical high-energy laser systems which are capable of destroying small aerial targets, electronic warfare and radar systems at a range of 6 to 8 km under phase I. Whereas under phase II, the laser systems should possess the ability to take down soft-skinned vehicles and troops from the ground and aerial platforms, while boasting a range of over 20 kilometers.